Okay, this video is going to be about wire strippers. Um, the reason I'm doing the video is I got these in the mail today. So these were sent to me by uh, Kai Wheats. Um, and um, I didn't know they were <laughs> didn't know they were coming. Um, I think I, I gave them a list of some of the products they had that I would potentially be interested in. And, and this is one of them. I've been wanting to get a pair of uh, wire strippers like these. Um, this, there's other brands. Um, I don't remember the brands. Um, Adam Savage over on his channel uh, really likes this type of wire stripper for the work that he does. Um, so we'll try these out. Um, I just thought I'd go over some of the wire strippers I have. I think these are the first wire strippers that I ever started out with as a kid. Um, and they are just super cheap and super simple. Uh, they have a little, uh, a little square uh, area that, 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 that goes. And you can set the screw so that it doesn't turn into a wire cutter. You can set the size of the opening when it's closed. It, 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 it interferes here. And um, so y you could set these up for a particular wire size. Um, they're kind of unruly in the hand and everything, so I, I never use them anymore. Um, uh, these are the ones that I use on the bench all the time. Uh, these are made by Klein Tools. And these are super good. They, they make two sizes. They make kind of a big size for like electricians and they make the smaller size for us guys. This one goes from 22 gauge, no 20 gauge to 32 gauge. So it can do the small little wires really well. So I, I like this one a lot for my bench. Um, I use this one a lot also. Um, it's kind of a funny thing. I think I saw this particular product on um, Southwest Auto, if you ever watched the, his channel. Uh, some guy in uh, northern, uh, northern uh, New, New York that, that works on cars. Um, they have a, a crimper on the end, and then they have kind of a, a guillotine type of uh, thing for the wire strippers. And uh, yeah, these are super high quality. These are made by uh, Nyko. Um, these I've had for a long time, but never used them. Uh, these are Harbor Freight. Uh, strippers. I use them all the time. They're great. They're super cheap. And these are the ones I use for like electrician work. Um, but let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is a Kai Wheats, uh KWS 103. Now this is an automatic one. This is one that has like a, a mechanism that automatically grabs the wire, pulls and strips and does everything. Um, I used to have, I, I, I think they're here, here in the grass somewhere, but I can't find them. An automatic wire stripper that I just hated and I never, never used. Um, but uh, this one uh, is kind of self-regulating. It doesn't matter what size wire you put in, it just kind of clamps down on it. There's a couple blades that come down and, and nick the uh, insulator. And then there's this section over here that, uh, I'm sorry, off camera. This, this little section over here that nicks the wire. And then over here is just a grabber and then it pulls it over. There's a little stop here so you, you can have a stop in or you can flip it down so there's no stop at all. But if you want to make a whole bunch of wires exactly the same, you can set the stop to some predetermined length. And then when you strip them, they'll all come out. So I'm interested in that for like breadboard work. I, you, sometimes when I do these, um, let me show you one. When I do these little breadboards, I want to have a whole bunch of little wires all the same length. So we can give that a try. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any adjustments. There's a wheel here. What's that wheel do? I don't know what that wheel does. I guess it's this plus and minus. I guess it's the amount of force that the, that, the grabbies use. Um, all right, so let's try some. Uh, this is a uh, 22 gauge, so it's on the fairly small size. We'll go here to the stop and pull it off, and, and there you go, we're great. Uh, very nice. Let's uh, try 20 gauge. That was solid, this is 20 gauge solid. It doesn't matter if it's solid or um, Stranded, I believe, so there, it pulled that off really easily. Um, this is some 18 gauge Stranded. It's got a little bend here. There's a, there's a wire cutter uh, built into the handle, so we can just snap that off and make it fresh. And then we can come in here and, yeah, there we go, it stripped it right off. Did it nick any of the, did it nick any of the wires? It might have. Might have cut a wire. Let's try that again. Try 
try that again. And maybe that's what it, that adjustment is. I can I can lower the force that it's. Uh, I don't know if I nicked it or not. Let me let me back this back off and make it lighter. Maybe that will uh, maybe that will help. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe there's a little. No, it nicked the, it nicked the wire. Let me back it off. Back it off some more. All right, give that a try. Nah, it's just nicking wires. So it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Let's try 14 gauge. That's a big one. And that looks pretty clean. Oh, it nicked a wire there as well. A little bit of... ah, just kind of scrape the uh, scrape the uh, copper. But uh, yeah, I think this would be great if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff um, and you want all the lengths to be exactly the same. This is going to save a lot of work. Now they're on the big side. They're kind of unruly and kind of on the big side, so they're not going to go on the bench all the time. But I think uh, if I want to do a whole bunch of um, breadboard stuff, so let's try that out. Let's see what size, uh, what length we want. Let's see if this is this is too long or too short. That seems to be, a, oh, that's just about right. There you go. I put in the breadboard, it goes all the way down to the insta installation. So, yeah, that's about, I don't know, seven millimeters or something. A little, like three eighths of an inch, um, yeah. So I think that'll work really great. So then you can you can do a bunch of you can do a bunch of these. We'll do two of them, okay. And uh, we'll cut off two of these, and then you do the other. Oops. Do the other side of the wire, and there you have a little jumper, and you can put it in your board. And yeah, I like it. So I, I think they're going to be best for doing a whole bunch of batch processing, right? Um, maybe your bench is bigger than mine. You can leave them out, but <laughs> they're, they're kind of big for my bench. But yeah, I really like them. Uh, they, I went to the website and they're only $19. So um, I believe I looked at some of these of a big brand name. They were like 70 bucks or something. They were like super expensive and I didn't buy them. I think the one that Adam was uh, recommending was like a super expensive one. Uh, but yeah, for 19 bucks, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. They also got a little area here for crimping, crimping the stuff. That doesn't look all that useful to me because of the uh, mechanical factor right there. I don't think it's, a, it's, it's enough. But uh, as a wire stripper, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good. Insulated crimper, non crimper, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Now I've got one. So it's about to stop the video, but I just figured out what this uh, what the screw does. There's a hole down there, and there's a detent. And uh, when you let go of the of the uh, insulated uh, insulator, um, what's this thing called? Wire stripper. <laughs> uh, it can detent into that little hole there, or if you put, take it all the way out, then it doesn't. Um, yeah, so it's not engaging right now when I wind it in all the way. Yeah, there I feel it now. There's a, there's a little resistance because of that detent down there. So if you like that feel, if you don't like that feel, I don't think it's really necessary to have it or not have it, but yeah, that's what it does. All right, I'll give you a little bit closer view of this thing before we go. This is the little thing that flips out of the way or, or moves, uh, moves back and forth so you can make it longer, make it shorter for how much wire you want to strip off. Yeah. All right, that's it.